Welcome to JazzTime. JazzTime.com is an online store that buys, sells, trades, authentic luxury watches. We make these videos so our customers can easily choose the best watch for themselves in the comfort of their own home. If you like this watch, click on the link in the description below to buy it at the lowest price anywhere online. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Rolex Datejust 41 reference 126331 rose gold and stainless steel on a silver fluted motif dial and a jubilee bracelet i'm going to talk to you about the bezel the dial the case the movement try it on and give you my thoughts so let's start this is the datejust 41 it is the largest of the datejust line which is rolex's most iconic line of watches rolex makes the datejust in size 28 which is small for ladies a size 31 which is mid-size and 36 which is large for ladies or a mid size for men and they make the largest size of Datejust 41 that's for men and some people might even say they make a Datejust 42 which would be the sky dweller so this is the Datejust 41 now from my thumb to my index finger the four o'clock to two o'clock position the longest distance across the bezel that distance is 41 now the case is made of stainless steel even though this watch is considered a stainless steel and rose gold this, the case itself is made of stainless steel. In fact, it's made of 904L steel, which is the hardest steel. It's anti-corrosive, and it keeps the watch having a beautiful shine for its entirety of its life. Now, it's a monoblock middle case with a screw-down case back and winding crown, which just means that the case itself is not going to uh, allow any water into it whatsoever because both the case back and the crown are both sealed with a screw-down case back. Okay, now if you turn it on its side, you see the side profile of this watch. It's a 12 millimeters in thickness. It's a very important uh, thing to have the thickness of the watch not too thick. Otherwise, the watch becomes very unwearable. And this is a perfect size. You also don't want it too thin because too thin makes it also a little too flimsy. So 12 millimeters is a great size. Okay, now let's talk about the, the dial here. Now the dial is this silver dial, but it's not any silver dial. It's a silver dial that has a fluted motif built into it. Now, this is a new dial as of 2023. They used to make this, they've been producing this watch for quite some time, at least I wanna say almost 10 years or maybe eight years or something, but they always had a flat silver. Now, Rolex uh, wanted to spice things up and they made the dial with this fluted motif. And why is it called fluted motif? Well, I believe it, it has uh, roots in the, in the bezel. The bezel is iconic Rolex. It has this fluted, bezel to it but they also decided to make that uh continue that motif onto the dial itself it, it lends for a very beautiful looking dial okay so that that's the dial they also make it uh motif on on several other dial colors but anyways this is the motif dial okay and it also has a, it I, I might add it also has index for markers now why would you want to have index well if i take this light light and i shine it at it you'll see that the the, the hour markers shine and you can see that see the watch at night as opposed to a roman dial which you cannot see at night and that is a practical aspect that you should probably consider when buying your watch that you're going to be wearing all the time or if you consider diamonds diamonds are beautiful but the only thing is you can't see them at night so luminescent you can't see it so that's a practical aspect it also leaves for a cleaner look, if you ask for my opinion. Okay, let's talk about the, the bezel. The bezel is it's a Rolex signature bezel. It's a fluted bezel. This bezel, it, anybody can see it and recognize that it's instantly Rolex. Okay, it used to have a, a functional purpose, which is to serve the bezel, screw the bezel onto the case and ensure the waterproofness of the watch. But over time, it, it used for aesthetics. And what a beautiful, beautiful aesthetic it is. And it's a mark of distinction. And of course, it's made in uh, 18 karat rose gold. Now, Rolex makes their 18 karat, their rose gold in uh, their own gold foundries. So they mix a, uh, several materials uh, together to give it this uh, rose gold look. And they, in fact, they call this rose gold, they call it Ever Rose. The reason they call it Ever Rose is because it stays forever rose gold. Now, if you know, sometimes rose gold can end up turning yellow over some time and uh you know that that would be kind of unsightly if you paid fifteen thousand dollars for this watch you wanted to stay looking yellow or sorry a, a rose gold forever and that's why rolex has figured out how to do that okay now let's go ahead and talk about the uh the bracelet the bracelet is a jubilee bracelet it's uh five piece link across 
the center links are high polish, the side links are uh, brush polish, and it has a buckle that has a five millimeter comfort extension, which allows you to change the, the length of the bracelet by five millimeters, which is very useful if you uh, for anybody because the watch gets, uh, uh, your, your, your wrist gets big or small throughout the day, depending on, you know, what time it is. Okay, let's talk about the uh, movement here. Now the movement is a caliber 3235 and it's precise to plus or minus two seconds a day with a power reserve of 70 hours. Not much to say because you can't really see it anyway, but it is updated movement. Okay, so let me try this on my wrist and I am 200 pounds, six foot tall. And as you can see, it's 41, it fits me just fine. It, it fits me actually perfectly. I, I would suggest those people that are, let's say under a hundred and, uh, or over 160 pounds, or maybe even 150 pounds, uh, could wear this watch or those that have a seven inch wrist or larger can wear this watch. Um, anything smaller than that, you probably should go with 36, which of course we have it at jazztime.com. And my thoughts are on this watch is, is that, uh, I, I love that rose gold and steel, they make this mix. It looks very fantastic to me. And I think it probably looks fantastic to you as well. So, and with this combination of, of uh, Jubilee bracelet and fluted bezel, rose gold, it's, it's a, it's a fantastic watch, especially if you add silver to it, it makes it uh, kind of low key, but you add a little spice with this fluted bezel. To me, it just it hits all the right spots. And for the price, I really think you can beat it. So if you want to buy this watch, go to jazztime.com or click on the link in the description below. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount, so you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in jazztime, plus the brand, model and the details you're interested in and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.